going to do logarithmic calculation. The log of a number comprises of characteristics, decimal, the mantissa. Let us take an example, log 2. So the characteristic is 0, because number of digits is 1, decimal, the mantissa. Log of 20, characteristic is 1, decimal, the mantissa. Log of 200 gives you 2, decimal, the mantissa. Log of 0 0.2, the point shifts to the left. So we have bar 1 point the mantissa. Then we have log of 0 0.02, that is bar 2 decimal point the mantissa. Likewise, you can take the characteristic for any other number. Now let us see the common logarithmic table for the mantissa. Let us take 2. So 2 is 2.000. So we can take 20 and 0 as 3010. So we can write log of 2 as log of 2.000 that is 0. Point the mantissa 3010 from the table. So log of 2 is 0. 0.3010. Now let us take the log of a number again as characteristic and the mantissa and let us take the example again. So log of 2 you know the characteristic is 0. Point the mantissa is 3010. Log of 20 it is 1 and point 3010. Look the mantissa is same since the numbers are same. Only the characteristic changes. So what will be log of 200? The characteristic is 2. Decimal. The mantissa is again 3010. Log of 0 0.2. The characteristic is bar 1. Decimal 3010. Log of 0 0.02. We know the characteristic is bar 2.3010. So the mantissa is same. Only the characteristics decide which is the number. Now let us take a very simple example of 2 into 5. The answer, obviously, you know it. So we can write this as antilog of log of 2 plus log of 5. Now let us take the simple example 2 into 5. That is equal to antilog of log of 2 plus log of 5. That is equal to antilog of log of 2, which we have found out. 0 0.3010 plus log of 5. Let's find log of 5 from the common logarithmic table. So for 5, we will see 50. And 0, of course. So it is 6990. So let's put the value. So we get 2 into 5 is antilog of log of 2, which is obviously 0 0.3010 plus 0 0.6990, which is the log of 5. And antilog of this will give you 2 into 5. So that is antilog of you add up and you get 1.0000. So let's see how to find the antilog from the antilog table. So we have the antilog table. The number was 1.0000. So that's 10. So we see 10 and uh, this is 1.00. So 00, of course, we will take. Let's go back and see the number again. So we have this 1.00. So after the decimal, we are going to see the antilog. So 00 and 0, we are going to see in the antilog table. And with the 1, we are going to put the point. So we have 0, 0 here and that's 0, 0 here. That gives you a value of 1000 and you put the point after two digits. It is just the opposite of what you do in logarithm. In logarithm, you see the decimal and put the characteristic. Here you see the characteristic and put the decimal. So the characteristic is 1. So you put the decimal after two digits. And that gives you the answer 10.
that you already know it. We can write it as 1 into 10 days to 1. Look at the antilog, 1.000, so that gives you 1 into 10 days to 1. Now let us take some more examples like this. So let's take the first one. So we have 256 into 46.6, that is equal to antilog of log of 256 plus log of 46.6. Look into the log table and find out the so antilog of the characteristic of 256 is 2 and the mantissa is 25 and 6 gives you 4082 plus 46 is 0.6 and the characteristic is 1 and the mantissa 46 and 6 gives you 6684. The antilog of the adding that is 4.0766 that gives you 11930. By calculator, the answer is 11,929.6. Look at the values, they are so close. Let's see another one way of writing it. So we can write this as 1193 into 10 raised to 4 and put the point after one digit. So it gives you 1.193 into 10 raised to 4. So let's take the second example 2560 into 46.6. Antilog of 2560 plus log of 46.6 that gives you antilog 3.4082 plus 1.664884 that is antilog of 5.0766. See the antilog table 07, 6 and 6. You add up the last 6. Whatever the digit is there under 6. So that gives you 119300. Or 1.193 into 10 days to 5. Now let's take another example. 2.560 into 46, 46, uh, 545.7. So 46,545.7. Look at the digits. 2560465457. The digits are almost same as the earlier one. So what do you see? The mantisas are same, only the characteristics are changing. So we have this number now. Let's find the value. So antilog of log of 2.560 plus log of 46,545.7. So you are going to see the log as antilog of 0 0.4082 plus 4.6684. You'll round off because you cannot find the uh, not more than four digits so you have to round it off and then take the mantissa so that gives you antilog of 5.0766 the answer is 1,19,300 or you can write this 1.193 into 10 days to 5 since antilog of 5 it is let's take the next example 256 divided by 46.6 again look only the characteristic change, the mantissa is same. So it is 2.4082 minus 1.684 antilog of that because it is division. So it will be subtraction. When you subtract, the antilog is 0 0.7398. And after taking the antilog, it becomes 5.493. Let's take another example. 46.6 divided by 256. So, antilog of 46.6 minus log of 256, that gives antilog of 1.6684 minus 2.4082, that's antilog of bar 1.2602, that is 0 0.1821, that is 1.821 in 10 is to minus 1. Let's take the next example, 0 0.256 into 46.6, antilog of log of 0 0.256 plus log of 46.6. That gives antilog bar 1.4082 plus 1.6684. Antilog of 1.0766. That is 11.93. 1.193 to 10 days to 1. The next example 0 0.256 divided by 46.6. Antilog of log of 0 0.256 minus log 46.6. That is antilog of bar 1.4082 minus 1.6684. So that's the antilog of bar 3.7398. So that is 0 